In the early 21st century, the automotive industry stood at a crossroads. The rise of electric vehicles, EVs, promised a cleaner, greener future, and Tesla, under the visionary leadership of Elon Musk, seemed poised to dominate this new era. Tesla's sleek designs, cutting-edge technology, and relentless pursuit of innovation had made it the poster child for the EV revolution. But as the world marveled at Tesla's meteoric rise, another automotive giant was quietly working on something that would challenge everything we thought we knew about the future of transportation. This is the story of how Toyota, the world's largest automaker, unveiled a groundbreaking technology that could redefine the automotive landscape and how Elon Musk's visit to Toyota's headquarters in late 2024 marked a turning point in this high-stakes rivalry. By the mid-2020s, Tesla's dominance in the electric vehicle market seemed unstoppable. The company's stock was soaring, legacy automakers were scrambling to catch up, and the future of transportation appeared to be purely electric. Tesla's success was built on a foundation of innovation, ambition, and a relentless drive to prove that electric cars could be the best cars. From the high-performance Roadster to the mass-market Model 3, Tesla had demonstrated that EVs could be both desirable and practical. Elon Musk's vision of an all-electric world was bold and uncompromising. He believed that the future of transportation lay in battery-powered vehicles, and he was determined to make that future a reality. Tesla's supercharger network, its advancements in battery technology, and its push for full self-driving capabilities were all part of Musk's grand plan to revolutionize the automotive industry. But while the world was busy watching Tesla's rise, Toyota, the world's largest automaker, was working on something that would change everything. This wasn't just another hybrid system or a minor improvement. This was a technology that promised to challenge the very foundation of the EV revolution. To understand how Toyota arrived at this pivotal moment, we must first look back at its history. The story of Toyota begins nearly a century ago in a small textile company in Japan, where a family's dedication to innovation laid the foundation for one of the greatest technological leaps in automotive history. Sakichi Toyota an ingenious inventor, revolutionized the textile industry with his creation of the automatic loom. This invention not only automated the weaving process, but also introduced the concept of jidoka, or automation with a human touch, a principle that would become a cornerstone of Toyota's manufacturing philosophy. Building on his father's legacy, Kichiro Toyota ventured into the automotive industry. Observing the inefficiencies in American mass production systems, Kichiro envisioned a more streamlined approach. He developed the just-in-time, JOIT, production method, which emphasized producing only what was needed, when it was needed, and in the exact amount required. This strategy minimized waste and optimized efficiency, laying the foundation for what would become the Toyota Production System, TPS. The TPS is built on two fundamental pillars, JIT and JIDOKA. While JIT focuses on synchronizing production processes to ensure a continuous flow and reduce waste, JIDOKA emphasizes quality control by empowering workers and machines to detect and address issues immediately. This dual approach not only enhanced productivity, but also ensured that quality was ingrained in every step of the manufacturing process. Toyota's commitment to continuous improvement, known as Kaizen, further distinguished it from its competitors. This philosophy encouraged every employee, from assembly line workers to executives, to actively seek out and implement improvements in their daily tasks. By fostering a culture where suggestions for enhancement were valued and acted upon, Toyota cultivated an environment of perpetual innovation. The internal combustion engine, ICE, has been a cornerstone of technological advancement for over a century, driving the vehicles that have shaped modern society. Its evolution is marked by continuous improvements in efficiency, power, and reliability. 
Toyota's journey with the ICE is a testament to its commitment to innovation and quality. In the early 1990s, Toyota introduced the 2JZ engine, a 3.0 liter inline six engine that became legendary among automotive enthusiasts. Its robust construction allowed it to handle significant power increases, making it a favorite for tuners and racers. This engine, found in models like the Toyota Supra, showcased Toyota's ability to blend performance with reliability. Toyota's innovations didn't stop there. In 1995, the company introduced variable valve timing with Intelligence, VVTI, a system that optimized the timing of intake and exhaust valves to enhance power output and improve fuel efficiency. Building on this, Toyota developed dual VVTI, which adjusted timing on both the intake and exhaust camshafts, further refining engine performance. In 2007, Toyota introduced the Valvematic system, offering continuous adjustment to valve lift and timing. This innovation improved fuel efficiency by controlling the fuel-air intake using valve control rather than a conventional throttle plate. The result was a more responsive engine with reduced emissions. As environmental concerns grew, Toyota responded by developing lean burn engines, which operate with a higher air to fuel ratio than conventional engines. In 1984, Toyota became the first automaker in the world to begin mass producing lean burn engines, offering improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. In 2008, as Toyota was refining its hybrid technology, a new player emerged on the automotive scene, Tesla Motors under the leadership of Elon Musk. Musk's vision was clear. Electric vehicles were the future. Tesla's journey, marked by innovation and ambition, would soon challenge traditional automakers and reshape the industry's landscape. Tesla Motors was founded in 2003 by engineers Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpenning with the goal of producing high-performance electric sports cars. In 2004, Elon Musk led Tesla's initial funding round, investing $6.5 million and becoming the company's chairman. Musk took an active role in product design and strategy, steering the company toward ambitious goals. In 2008, Tesla introduced its first vehicle, the Roadster, a sports car that could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds and offered a range of over 200 miles on a single charge. The Roadster shattered preconceived notions about electric cars, demonstrating that EVs could be both high-performing and desirable. Building on the Roadster's success, Tesla launched the Model S sedan in 2012. The Model S received widespread acclaim for its performance, safety features, and sleek design. It was the first electric car to top the monthly sales ranking in any country, signaling a shift in consumer perceptions and market dynamics. Tesla continued to expand its lineup with the introduction of the Model X SUV in 2015 and the more affordable Model 3 sedan in 2017. The Model 3, in particular, was crucial in bringing electric vehicles to a wider audience, becoming the best-selling electric car globally. In 2014, Tesla announced its autopilot system, a suite of advanced driver assistance features. Musk's vision extended beyond partial automation. He frequently spoke about achieving full self-driving capabilities. Despite ambitious timelines, fully autonomous driving remained a complex challenge, with Tesla facing both technical hurdles and regulatory scrutiny. As the automotive industry accelerated toward an electric future, the enthusiasm for EVs was tempered by significant challenges associated with battery production. While EVs promised reduced tailpipe emissions, the environmental and logistical complexities of battery manufacturing presented a multifaceted dilemma. The production of lithium-ion batteries, the cornerstone of most EVs, involves the extraction of critical minerals such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel. Mining these materials is resource-intensive and often environmentally detrimental. For instance, lithium extraction in South America's Lithium Triangle has led to significant water depletion in arid regions, adversely affecting local ecosystems and communities. Similarly, cobalt mining in the Democratic Republic of Congo has been linked to soil and water contamination, 
as well as human rights concerns. Beyond mining, the battery manufacturing process is energy intensive, contributing to substantial greenhouse gas emissions. Studies indicate that producing a single EV battery can emit up to four tons of CO2, requiring years of vehicle operation to offset this initial carbon footprint. Additionally, the global supply chain for battery materials often involves extensive transportation, further increasing emissions. The finite availability of essential minerals also poses a significant challenge. As EV adoption rises, the demand for lithium, cobalt, and nickel is expected to outpace supply, potentially leading to resource shortages and increased prices. This scarcity is exacerbated by geopolitical factors, as a substantial portion of these minerals is concentrated in politically unstable regions. Addressing the environmental impact of EV batteries extends beyond production to include end-of-life management. Currently, only about 5% of lithium-ion batteries are recycled, primarily due to technological and economic barriers. Improper disposal can lead to soil and water contamination, while efficient recycling could mitigate environmental harm and alleviate resource scarcity by recovering valuable materials. The transition to EVs also requires substantial investments in charging infrastructure and poses challenges for existing power grids. In many regions, the electrical grid may struggle to accommodate the increased demand from widespread EV adoption. Moreover, if the electricity used to charge EVs is generated from fossil fuels, the environmental benefits of reduced tailpipe emissions could be negated. In 2024, Toyota, in collaboration with Subaru and Mazda, announced the development of advanced internal combustion engines designed to integrate seamlessly with hybrid systems and operate on carbon-neutral fuels. These engines are engineered to be more compact than their predecessors, allowing for vehicle designs with lower hoods and improved aerodynamics, thereby enhancing fuel efficiency. Toyota's latest engine innovations focus on achieving higher thermal efficiency and versatility in fuel usage. The new engines are designed to run on various fuel types, including gasoline, synthetic e-fuels, biodiesel, and hydrogen. This flexibility not only reduces reliance on fossil fuels, but also aligns with global efforts to minimize carbon emissions. A significant engineering breakthrough in these engines is the reduction of piston stroke, resulting in a more compact design. This modification posed considerable challenges, but ultimately led to engines that are 10 to 20% smaller than existing models. The compact size allows for lower vehicle front ends, optimizing airflow, and contributing to better fuel efficiency. To compensate for any torque loss due to the shorter stroke, the integration of electric motors provides instant power, ensuring that performance is not compromised. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of Toyota's new engine technology is its capability to utilize hydrogen as a fuel source. Unlike traditional fuel cell vehicles that convert hydrogen into electricity, Toyota's approach involves the direct combustion of hydrogen within the engine. This method leverages existing ICE technology while producing zero carbon emissions, with water vapor being the primary byproduct. The development of hydrogen combustion engines has been accelerated through Toyota's participation in motorsports. By deploying hydrogen-powered vehicles in racing scenarios, Toyota has been able to test and refine this technology under extreme conditions gaining valuable insights that inform the development of consumer-ready models. In late 2024, something extraordinary happened behind closed doors. Elon Musk, the face of the electric vehicle revolution, made an unexpected visit to Toyota's headquarters in Japan. While such meetings between automotive executives aren't unusual, what made this visit different was its unprecedented level of secrecy and the events that followed. According to sources familiar with the matter, Toyota's CEO, Koji Sato, personally invited the tech mogul to review their latest technological developments. This unusual move sparked speculation throughout the industry. Why would Toyota share their closely guarded secrets with their theoretical competitor? The meeting is said to have lasted for over six hours. During this time, 
Elon was granted access to Toyota's most advanced research facility, where their next-generation engine technology was being developed. What happened in that facility remains largely confidential, but the impact was immediately apparent. Several engineers who worked closely with Elon reported a notable change in his demeanor upon his return. The billionaire appeared unusually contemplative. When pressed about the visit, Elon Musk simply stated, Toyota's new engine will destroy the entire EV industry. Coming from a man who had dedicated his career to making electric vehicles mainstream, this statement sent shockwaves through the industry. So, what does the future hold? Toyota's revolutionary engine technology challenges the prevailing assumption that battery electric vehicles will completely replace internal combustion engines. Instead, we might be entering an era where multiple technologies coexist, each serving different needs and markets. Toyota's approach offers a compelling alternative to the all-electric paradigm, addressing some of the limitations associated with EVs, such as battery production impacts and charging infrastructure challenges. By offering engines capable of utilizing carbon-neutral fuels and delivering exceptional performance, Toyota is positioning itself as a leader in sustainable transportation. As the automotive industry grapples with these complexities, one thing is clear. The future of transportation will be shaped by innovation, competition, and a commitment to sustainability. Whether it's through electric vehicles, hydrogen combustion engines, or a combination of both, the race to redefine mobility is far from over.